Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here. Today I'm going to show you how to trigger some secret dialogue for the Sculptor, Demon of Hatred, and the Shura Storyteller. Keep in mind that you can only begin to trigger this dialogue during a specific window of opportunity, which I'll cover in the first step of this guide. So without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Once Owl and the Central Forces raid Ashina Castle, but before defeating the final boss of Fountainhead Palace and triggering the end of the game, you need to share a couple of drinks with the Sculptor. By offering him a bottle of Ashina Sake, the Sculptor will tell you the story of Dogen. Oh, I needed that. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. About Lady Emma's father? Dogen. He was an extraordinary doctor. He was also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. Better put, he was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. He didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. And we could say that you owe him your life as well. What do you mean? When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing, which has now become your left arm. The first version was a complete failure, didn't work at all, so he remade it. Then he remade it again and again countless times. <laughs> what? He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly, so Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys. After much training of that sort, it came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His legacy? Oh. So much time has passed. While I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone I could not bear to abandon. Step 2. Offer the sculptor a bottle of monkey booze. He'll share the story of his training in the Sunken Valley with his partner, Shinobi. Oh, it burns the throat, same as ever. This really brings back memories. Did you drink this often? I trained in the techniques of the Shinobi, in the valley where the monkeys dwelled. By yourself? No, there were two of us. We were rogue Shinobi. There was no proper master for the likes of us. That's why we went to the valley. To run, to jump, to clash swords. Where one slip would mean your doom. That was how we trained. We came to move exactly as monkeys did after a time. I drink this monkey booze whenever I tired of training. And I'd listen to the howl of my partner's whistling finger while I drank. Howl? It was from his unique ring. Whistling through that ring would fill the valley with a somber melody. Strangely enough, I enjoyed that sound. I listened to it so often. Step 3. After resting at the idol outside, you'll find that Lady Emma has appeared in the temple. You don't have to, but you can speak with Emma and the sculptor for some trivial new dialogue. What is required, however, is going around back and eavesdropping on the two. Doing so will reveal some very interesting dialogue. Orangutan, the central forces are here. Are they now? They never change their thieving ways. Are the flames still burning? Emma, the answer to that isn't going to change. I could carve Buddha idols for all eternity, and the flames of hatred would still rage on. The most I can do is keep them in check. Orangutan. What is it? If the time ever comes, then I'll... I have Buddha to carve. Goodbye. Step 4. Rest again at the idol to cause Emma to leave the temple. Speak with the sculptor once more to learn of his unfortunate destiny. Listen. What? You will be the one to kill me. What are you talking about? Don't play the fool to make her have to kill me. I don't think I could bear it. Please. Step 5. After getting this dialogue, you can proceed through the rest of the game like normal. Once the Interior Ministry raids Ashina Castle during the last part of the game, make your way through Ashina outskirts and face the Demon of Hatred. Upon engaging the boss, Sekiro will immediately recognize the demon as the Sculptor. Sculptor? 
If you stop and look at the boss for a second, you'll notice it looks like a demonic orangutan with one physical arm. Its left arm, which is also the arm that the sculptor was missing, is replaced by a fiery whip. Upon defeating the Demon of Hatred, some new dialogue between Sekiro and the demon will occur. Finish me, please. Farewell, sculptor. Step 6. The final step of this questline is to head into the house up the stairs where you first met the Tengu of Ashina. The old woman, who is called the Shura Storyteller in the official guide, will have moved into the main room from her little hallway. Speaking to her reveals some additional pieces of the sculptor's story and fate. You know who the one-armed demon was before. Yes. Hmm. Then you know there's no reason to lose heart to carve and sculpt Buddhas for so long only to be wreathed in the flames of hatred and turn into a demon. It was the fate he made for himself, to pay for his own mistakes. And you put an end to that. You sent him on his way. I'm sure he's grateful for that. Some advice. The hatred he channeled has lost its vessel for now. The longer the fires of war rage on, the more ashen this world will become. That does not mean you should step into his place. Now then, be gone already. You have your duties. Things you must accomplish. Yes? And that about does it. If you guys need any help, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you like this video and you're looking for more like it, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you really like the content, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. As always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.